titik tuh. So, thus is in this point, our structure is required to be large, and its depth is not an important criterion for design. A truss may be selected. Okay, trusses consist of slender elements. So, obvious, mano. Wala may members of truss na dagko ayo. Slender elements usually arranged in triangular fashion. Planar trusses are composed of members that lie in the same plane and are frequently used for bridge and roof support. Makarelate mo ano eh. Visible lang ba niya makita niya. Whereas, space trusses have members extending in three dimensions and are suitable for derricks and towers. Cables and arcs. So, two other forms of structures used to span long distances are the cable and the arc. Cables are usually flexible and carry their loads in tension. They are commonly used to support bridges and building roofs. So, um, para makita agad mo ani, eh, kanang mga suspension bridges, I think next year, mutan na sa Hindi na kalibaratan. Nabay, direct to seminars ang fourth year, Tan? Wala. Busy man si Iguan. Night, direct to seminars ang fourth year ba? Wala na. Subject? Ang kining bagong curriculum ba? Wala na? Ano ba? Ay, sad. Wala na rin ay. Trips and seminars. Sayang. Okay, sa Cebu, kanang sa Cordova ba? Si Silex, Cebu, Cordova nga ako ay. Expressway, suspension goods na siya. Under construction pa na karoon. Ang isa kay engineers nga na-assigned dito sa project, isang alumnus of USTP. Sister ni Kuha Jemar Betaw. Proud kay may kay na ay isa ka alumni na naka-work sa Sicilic. It's a very big project. O, dagko ka ayaw. So, last year, we were able to visit the site. And, kamaulo pag ito sila. And hopefully, next year, paras para kasi. Kaila ka? Kaila ka, Jemar? Naka-sister din daw. Haha. So, i-link niya ang kwan, Cordova ba? O Cebu. Pero wala naman daw ako na-treat sa inyong curriculum sa sahayang. Pwede na ilat, ikaw. Tagaan natin yung picture niya. So, they are commonly used to support bridges and building roofs. They use, when used for these purposes, the cable as an advantage over the beam and the truss, especially for spans that are greater than 150 feet. Okay, kung kuhan magud, kung concrete niya, kinanglang ka o kuhan, kining, dako kayong weight eh. Diba? Kaya ang prosiksyon ni mo, dagko man, kaya dagko man ang loadan eh. Loads naman sa kanya na mga game moving loads. Pero kung suspension bridge, pwede ra o dili siya buwan. Dili baga ang imong bridge deck. Kay majority sa load will be carried by the cables. Okay, kung wala eh, dili suspend, suspended ang bridge. O pag na yung aging mong sakyanan, uh, the loads will be carried by the bridge deck. So kaya nalang, ah, dagko kayo. Dagko kayo ang weight ni deflection, dagko kayo. Whereas kung yun na eh, pwede raw ang dili kayo baga ang bridge deck. Kaya part of the load will be carried by the cables. Di man niya basta-basta kaya ang cable ah eh, ang diameter sa cable, o ang kadako sa cable ah eh, murang sa doon bukton sa, bukton na sa lunag ang joke. Basta sa bukton kadako, bukton ako, inana. Tagko kayo sa, 
Oh, sa dili man niya, basta-basta nga kibol nga gag may gaya. Ang arc, on the other hand, achieves its strength in compression. So, bali, kung baliho ni mo, i-mirror ni mo ang, i-mirror ni mo ang kibol arc, ha? Di ba? So, since it has a reverse curvature to that of the cable. Mga nang pares nila. Arcs and cables. Ano uh, ba? Opposite ba? Has ba na? Why? The arc must be rigid. So, kini noon, uh, rigid ni siya. Dili ni siya cable man. Ang cable ka design for tension man eh. Arc is compression. So, Due to this load, kining sa moving load sa second under eh, mo bend mo nino. So, ang mahitap po, tension yung yung cable. So, birahon nyo 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 yun, ang force sa yung arc na yun, pababa na yun, i-compress nyo. So, yung i-duot nyo nyo eh. Yan. O, di ba? I-pull sa mga hangers nyo ba, downward. O, so, compression nyo nyo nyo. So the arc must be rigid, however, in order to maintain its shape. Arcs are frequently used in bridge structures, dome roofs, and for openings in masonry walls. O mga dome ba? Di ba? Yan yung mga roofing sa dome? Tingnan na. Ang ingon na nila, ang ilang gibasihin na na is ka ng eggshell. So, kung... Kung na kita mo egg, kung imo na imo na ikompres, imo ko tito, agad na ano ano anak sa wala mo, oh, di na sa basta basta mabuak, de ba? Basta lang kay it ito nung lang sa imo pam ng kanang soft na spot, kung imo na ikompres ng egg, oh, di na sa basta basta mabuak. Ina na ang kon, mo na gibasihan na sa mga designers, no. Very strong sa against kwan kwan ng compression. Pwede na mas solayan sa pwede na mas solayan ng sinig balay, eh? Balat ng itlog yun ang compress niyo. Pero mas maayos po ng ipatungod yung kaladaan para in case mabuak, deser na yung luto. Hana ba di ito masayang? E kung sa lai yung basi mas mas mabuak ba masayang? Pero ipatungod niyo sa kalha at least scrambled it so dual purpose ba maginana? Ito mo na ang arc, ha? And then the frame. Ito mo na siya. Anay column, anay beam, or girder. So frames are often used in buildings and are composed of beams and columns that are either pin or fixed connected. Like process, frames extend in two or three dimensions. The loading on a frame causes bending of its members, and if it has rigid joint connections, this structure is generally indeterminate from a standpoint of analysis. Oh, indeterminate, ah, literature needs us. The strength of such a frame is derived from the moment interactions between the beams and the columns at the rigid point joints. Ah, so more on this part. Pag awa to do sa frames, ha? So sa frame da yon, okay. Frame members are subjected to internal axial shear and moment loading. So nane axial ang frame sa beam shear and moment raman to. Okay, wala may horizontal force ang kwan ang beam. Pero pag frame na na naman tayo horizontal, wind load, earthquake load, na naman tayo horizontal ng mga forces. Na nandain tayo internal nga axel. Bago ni siya, huwag mo kagayaan eh. So, once the dimensional requirement for a structure have been defined, it becomes necessary to determine the loads the structure must support. Katong sa codes ba? Dito ni Mukhaon. O. Na may live load. Commercial, residential, minanal. For example, high-rise structures must endure 
large lateral loadings caused by wind and so shear walls and tubular frame systems are selected as nanan is design ma apil na design ito ni say consider whereas buildings located in areas prone to earthquakes must be designed having ductile frames and connections uh, steel ductile nung na para in case mag earthquake pwede na siya mag swing swing ba di ba joke lang flexible siya ba ductile ba rather ductile Once a structural form has been determined, the actual design begins with those elements that are subjected to the primary loads the structure is intended to carry. And then it proceeds in sequence to the various supporting members until the foundation is reached. So, kung imagine itong building, uh, dito ka mag-start sa roofing, di ba? Uh, dito ka mag-sugod. Bale, top to bottom ang analysis man. Start ka sa roofing. Depende na tayo. No? Like, kung trust yung roof, balay na lang. Uh, so, analyze ka roofing. Trust na yun. Analyze yung trust. Tapos, ang, ang support reaction sa trust. Dito ni mo column. Design ka. And everything. Hantan mo. Abot ka sa one, footing. Thus, a building floor slab would be designed first. Uh, kung kwari sa ha, kung mga building sa dayon ba? Um, floor slab would be designed first, followed by the supporting beams, and then columns, and last, uh, the foundation footings. So, in order to design a structure, it is therefore necessary to first specify the loads that are connected. Nanis codes, makuha ano mo? Uh, sa design na nila. Balian sa theory, uh, ang loads nga gibutang na to, given na daan, uh, pero sa design, uh, it's either ipatanawan mo sa mga codes, yun na na. Ito nyo kawa ng mga loads nga. Kawaan nyo. So, the design loading for a structure is often specified in codes. In general, the structural engineer works with two types of codes, general building codes and design codes. So design, is that? General building codes specify the requirements of governmental bodies for minimum design loads on structures and minimum standards for construction. Design codes provide detailed technical standards and are used to establish the requirements for the actual structural design. I saw mo kuna kuna ane next year pero kani. At least na may idea dyan. Classes are loads or dead loads. Dead loads consist of the weights of the various structural members and the weights of any objects that are permanently attached to the structure. Hence, for a building, the dead loads include the weights of the columns, beams, and girders, and floor slab, uh, roofing, walls, windows, plumbing, electrical fixtures, and other miscellaneous attachments. Dead load na, kaya permanently attached. Live loads. Live loads can vary both in their magnitude and location. They may be caused by the waste of objects temporarily placed on a structure, moving vehicles, or natural forces. The minimum live loads specified in codes are determined from studying the history of their effects on existing structures. Uh, so, bali ka itong kitaan yun sa codes based on experience to. Dito yung nga pataka-pataka ala sila o butang nga to. Usually, these loads include additional protection against excessive deflection or sudden overload. 
Now, sa design, kini nga mga load butangan ni siya o kung kini load factor. Uh, multiplier ba kay para kung for uncertainties ito. Yung takabalo ko. Kahit for example, uh, money load gibutang ni mo. Pero sa actual, increase dahi ba? Muna na yung load factor siya. So, ang live load, mas dako ni siya kahit mas dako mag-impact ang live load bibis sa dead load. So, sa design, um, i-multiply sa 1.7 whereas ang dead load, i-multiply sa 1.4. So, sa kanadaan ba? Para ang load nga gamito ni mo sa design, dako na siya kaya ang, ang actual nga load ta like dead load, i-multiply mo ni mo 1.4 so, dako siya. Inana man na siya. Tanan structures. Okay, di naman pwede nga kung unsara to. Diyan lagi ka tawan. Kaya basi man ang barada eh. So. Various types of live loads. Building loads, highway bridge loads, railroad bridge loads, impact loads, wind loads, Snow loads, dili applicable yung ibang sa ito ane. Wala may snow sa Pilipinas. Earthquake loads, hydrostatic and soil pressure. Sige. Support reactions. Kage na mga nis. Kuan? Statics, mga support reactions. Structural members are joined together in various ways depending on the intent of the designer. The three types of joints most often specified are the pin connection, the roller support, and the fixed joint. Makarelate mo ane, kasi kara mo ra magin yung mga supports, pin, roller, o fixed. Kaya mga short cable talag sa na. Kaniyang mga ina niya. Pin, uh, pin connected collar, na, talaga na slider, talaga sa. So, a pin connected joint and a roller support allow some freedom for slight rotation. Pwede siya rotate, di ba? Whereas, a fixed joint allows no relative rotation between the connected members and is consequently more expensive to fabricate. Ma will did and uh, fix the dinosaur. So review equation to equilibrium, it may be recalled from statics that the structure or one of its members is in equilibrium when it attains a balance of force and moment. In general, this requires that the force and moment equations of equilibrium must be satisfied and be satisfied along three independent axes, namely. Mau ni siapa? Kung kung three D sih, mau gini sih? Summation of force x y u z plus z zero, and summation of moment x y u z zero. Pero kung planar, ngah problem lang, tolong ane. So, mission of force sa X and Y and then sa mission of moment na yun. Isa lang. So, whenever these equations are applied, it is first necessary to draw a free body diagram. Aware mo naman eh. Of the structure or its members. If a member is selected, it must be isolated from its supports and surroundings. And it is its outline shape drawn. All the forces and couple moments must be shown that act on the member. And now, the statics, my FBD. Sige. Dari na dahil ta. Determinacy and stability. Determinacy, the equilibrium equations provide both the necessary and sufficient conditions for equilibrium. So, uh, when all the forces in a structure can be determined strictly from these equations, the structure is referred to as statically 
determine it. Or, uh, in other words, kung ang imong equations, enough siya para ma-solve ang unknowns, statically determine siya. If you have four equations, nianapok kay four ka unknowns, statically determine siya. Ana, amana. So, mathematics, three equations, three unknowns. Two equations, two unknowns. Ana, ba. If you have four equations, four unknowns po na siya. Kaya kung four equations, dahil yung three ka unknowns, uh, na isa ka equation na nga redundant, subara ba. Structures having more unknown forces then available equilibrium equations are called statically indeterminate. Oh. Kung mas daghan ng anon, sorry. Kung mas daghan ng anon kaysa equations, statically indeterminate. Mala na ang determinacy. Either statically determinate or statically indeterminate. While ang stability, yun na ni. To ensure the equilibrium of a structure or its members, it is not only necessary to satisfy the equations of equilibrium, but the members must also be properly held or constrained by their supports. So in general, then a structure will be geometrically unstable. That is, it will move slightly or collapse. Ah, onya makita rin na if there are fewer reactive forces than equations of equilibrium. Amo, ano isa? Kung gamay na daw kung ano ang reactive forces or unknowns kaysa equations of equilibrium, uh, unstable na siya. Okay? Geometrically unstable. Or, if there are enough reactions, instability will occur if the lights of actions of the reactive forces intersect at a common point or are parallel to one another. Um, Tagaan tayong example na yun niya. Uh, ah, sige, example na lang. Nabalik kay beam. Pero ang supports ni mo, tulok ka roller. Unstable siya because ang imong reactive forces parallel, puro vertical. Diba? Ina na siya. Or simply, no inspection, kung na kay beam, tapos tulok ka roller, ah, oh, di mo dagan siya. Diba? O, oh, dili siya restricted to move along the horizontal kay roller man tanan. So, unstable siya. Diba, ina na. Or another basis ni mo is that ang, ang reactive forces ni mo are parallel to one another. Puro vertical man. Vertical. So, unstable. Right? So, if the structure is unstable, it does not matter if it is statically determinate or indeterminate. Oh, mo, nasa. So, muy pinakabugat ba, li ba? Kimas kiog, statically determinate siya or indeterminate. Basta unstable siya, unstable, gini mo classification. Magawa sa baris board exam. Tagaan mo o figure, either beam, truss, or frame. Tapos, kuhan, i-classify ni mo. Ah, uh, stable, unstable, determinate, indeterminate. So, pag-check ni mo karon, pag-check ni mo, ah, determinate siya. Diyan yun, ala, unstable man. So, asa may pili o ni mo? Naduha yan siya. Di mo ka, maingon nga, ah, bonus ni, kiduha yan, sir. No, wrong. And the correct answer there is unstable. So, among the two considerations, determinacy and stability, mas buga to weight ang stability sa consideration. So, even if determinate siya, pero kay unstable man, unstable yung mga classification na ito. Sige. Let us start with beams. Okay, so. So, ang kay... Ang criteria sa beam is let R denote the number of reaction elements 
and see the number of equations of condition. Mo there ni siya. Ang value sa C is 1, 4 a hinge. Internal ha? Internal ha? Di ba nakataya naman mga problem na hinge? O, oh, ganyan to. Ang C ado is equal to 1. Pero kung roller, di ni siya support ng roller ha? Uh, makita ang diagram niya kung unsa ning roller dere. C equals 2. And if there is no internal connection, then C is equal to 0. So ang criteria is this one. If ang reaction, by the way, ang munyang equations, ang left side is rea ang unknowns, ang right side ang equation. So, if R is less than C plus 3, the beam is unstable. So, I will explain. Muna yung unknowns, R, di ba? C is equation. Kining 3 da, Andre, muna niyang katong original nga conditions sa equilibrium. So, I mentioned yung force sa I is equal to 0. So, I mentioned yung force sa Y equal to 0. So, I mentioned yung moment equal to 0. Na natong tulo daan. Okay. Given na daan ng 3 equations. Kani siya, additional ng equation nun eh. Kining C. So, kung ang unknowns daw, so number one, if ang unknowns is less than the equations, automatic, unstable na siya. Like, na kay beam, unya isa ka roller ang nag-support or isa ka hinge ang nag-support, murag siso ba? O, ang fulcrum ni mo, mo ito yung hinge. O, dili siya stable, kaya mag-tuya-tuya lang siya. Ha? Second is, if the unknowns, ang kine R, is equal, equal ha? to the equations, then the beam is determined. Provided that no geometric instability is involved. Pato akong iyo nga ganina. Nga like na kay beam. Tapos na itulog ka buhok roller. O, kung i-check ni mo, there are three unknowns. Tulo ka reactions. Three ni. Tapos wala mong kay connection. Internal connection, zero. So three equals three. Therefore, the beam is determinate. Pero by inspection, unstable man siya. Kaya ang support ni mo, parallel man. Therefore, unstable gini mo classification na to. Muna na other eh. Determinate to siya provided na there is no geometric instability involved. Ana. And the last one is kung mas dagha ng unknowns kaysa equations. If R is greater than C plus 3, the beam is statically indeterminate. Nare kita wag og degree of indeterminacy. Ang pasabot ang degree of indeterminacy number of equi additional equations ng inyong kinahanglan para masolve siya. Example, if you have six canons and then you only have four equations, isubtract ni mo, six minus four, two. Uh, ang tawag na, statically indeterminate to the second degree. Which means na, kung second degree, you need additional two equations Para masolve ni mo ang problem. Mano yung pasabutan eh. So, pagkitaan ito mo ang sample nga kuhan. Okay, yung mga sample na kuhan, beams. Mano ni siya. Ito yung nalay sa kinahanya na ba ang buhato ninyo sa kuhan, task na kong ihatag. Uh, example, kinin nga beam. Check na to. There are five ka Reactions, duha sa hinge, nga anak kay roller isa, isa, isa. So, five tanan. Tapos, na kay C nga two, okay. Internal hinge man eh. So, internal hinge man na. So, two. Duha tanan. Mano siya. So, pag-check siya criteria, whether R is less than, or R is equal, or R is greater than C plus 3. Mano siya. Five equals two plus three, five. Stable and determinate. So, kung mga tanah mo, yun sa gipagibalo na stable siya. 
wala eh, specific factor dahil niya. I-test ni mo. Butangan ni mo glowed. Butangan ni mo glowed dire. Butangan ni mo glowed dia. 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 And then observe dahil or analyze kung mag-collapse ba siya or dili. Labutangan mo glowed. Mubaw ba ni siya? Diba? Mudagan man yung roller dire. Paingon sa left or left or right. Dili. Tungod aning hinge. Oh. Restricted doon siya movement. Di ba? Tapos kini siya, dilip mo ni siya mo sa akal. Like, applied mo glowed. Maba, mag, mga na siya. Tapos kini siya mga portion mo, rotate. Dilip mo na po hindi. Kinaan mo ni. So, dilip mo ni mga alsa. As is, ano siya? Ha? Okay. So, stable. Kaya okay, doon ka? Kini. Six. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two ka connections. Six greater than two plus three, five. Stable. Only indeterminate to the first degree. Six minus five, first degree. Ah, ay katolo. Ah, five ka ano? Hinge, hinge or roller. So five, and then na ka internal hinge. One of one, so two tenan. Five equals five. Unstable siya. Determine ito od pero unstable. Na explanation dere. Internal geometric instability. A possible form of displacement is indicated by the dotted lines. O magutan ko glowed yah. Free ng kundi mo rotate. Sa pagutan ni mo glowed mo rotate na mo rotate yah yah. Tapos kini yung roller ni mo, mumove niya pa ingon sa lift. Kaya roller man, mudagan na niya. Mung slide ba pa ingon sa lift. O, yun na na. So, ikaw mag-test, ano eh. Wala yung specific na procedure yung i-follow ni mo. Next. Kini. 2 plus 3 plus 4. 2. 2 plus 1 plus 1 dahil. So, 4. Nakahins mo ni roller niya. Kabuloy mo ng stable ni. Ito mo dahil ni. O, plan niya ako nag-load niya. Mudagan naman ni. Kay roller naman ni. So, unstable. Okay, this one. Fix to low, di ba? Tulo, mag-react yung components pag-fix. Dere po, tulo. So, six na na. Ang imong C, isa dere sa hinge, duha dere sa roller. So, three na na. Six equal six. Determine it siya. Kaya equal man. Stable. So, mga tanong, mga nung stable man. O, wala ka. Dili, 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 babawag. Dili. Kaya dili, dili, babawag. Diba? Mabunta ka glow niya. Ah, di pa rin nga. Mahulog ni. Di li. Sa drawing na nasi mahulog ay po sa actual. Naman po yung connection na ni kamay. Roller. Di pa rin nga magbitay rin isa. Sa drawing na na ha. Po sa actual na connection. Wala po. So, butangan ni mong glow di eh. Butangan ni mong glow di ha. Mamaka na rin ka. Mabawag pa na. Di li. Di ko skilling roller. Di li mo siya muna. O kay tungo na ni. Fix mo ni. So, dili siya pwede. Di ba? So, steam bonus. The last one is this. 3 plus 2 plus 2. You have 7. Hinge o hinge. 2. 7 greater than 5. Remember? Supposed to be indeterminate niya. To the second degree. Pero, unstable ang classification niya. Tungo na ni. Kay hinge man eh. Pwede mo siya ma-rotate. Malaga. Di ba na udagan? Correct. Di na udagan. Pero free siya ma-rotate. O kay hinge man. Ma-rotate niya siya. Exaggerated rin eh. Gamay rin siya. Pero unstable. Gini siya. Kaya ma-rotate man eh. Tapos ma-rotate po na. Sabutan ka naman yung glow di ha. O di ha. Unstable ang result.
Okay. So, ikat sa din ako kay less than one minute and then tiwosan din ako ni sa trust of film. Last na na yun. Eh? 